native. That's southeastern Pennsylvania for a little geography lesson. This one swung on and missed strike three. That's a good uh, hitter or a good um, pitcher's count pitch there, though. And there is strike three. The side is retired. Simon. That applies to the coaching staff as well. Anyhow, Simon here. That's going to be a called strike three as Simon heads back to the dugout with his head down. And he knew it. Crack out. Yeah, you just got to stay alive here for Fuller. Fuller swings it. This one smokes it into the gap. Past the diving Ching. And St. Bonaventure once again has its leadoff man aboard. Now batting with no two count. One out for his team. He's got two on. The 0-2. Swung on. Hit toward third and it gets into the outfield. Coming toward home is Fuller. Here comes the throw. It's not in time and St. Bonaventure has tied the game as Fuller crosses home plate. We're knotted at one. And you know when you here on the bottom of the fifth. Balczewski hits this one up the middle. Runner comes home, throw goes to third. It is not in time. And St. Bonaventure takes a 2-1 lead. They've got runners on the corners with two out. Now for VCU, trying to bring home at least one run, perhaps two. One out for VCU. Will it swings on the first pitch and ropes it into right field. Runner coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. It is in time, and he is out. Oh, a great play there. A jumping attempt as McCarrick with a laser beam right to McDonald. Magnanti batting for St. Bonaventure. He'll swing at this one and hits it down the first baseline. Into the corner it goes. Magnanti digging for two. He'll go in standing up, and it's a leadoff double for St. Bonaventure as Mike Magnanti has his team with a runner in scoring position. And here we go. The 0-1 from McCarty swung on and hit into left field. Magnanti digging for third. He'll go in standing up. And it's runners on the corners. Nobody out for St. Bonaventure. Team at least tied, if not ahead. Here's the 2-1. Swung on and chopped out in front of the plate. Grabbing it is Nelson. He'll throw to first, and the game is over. The Bonnies work out of a jam here. The bases were loaded, and they somehow hang on for the win.